Good morning, Jeep fans, Flat Fender Fanatics, Convoy Crazies, Johnny here, coming at you live from the back of my M100. You hear that rain coming down? We're staying nice and dry in here. Although, the rain is between me and my coffee pot, so sooner or later we're going to get a little bit damp. So, um, yeah. Yesterday morning, uh, getting ready to move out, get all my stuff packed up, hop in the Jeep, fire it up, put it in gear, get out onto the road and I look back and that tire is almost flat. So that tube that I put in there must have had a hole in it. So the March unit leader and uh, the guy behind me helped me put my spare back on. And uh, we came in here to Gretna. I was running on my bent, my bent spare. It, it goes back and forth like this. It's, it's, it's a bent combat rim, and a lot of them are bent. Uh, then what happened? Oh, we got here, and uh, the Legion commander was just uh, welcoming us with open arms. It's like, oh, we're so happy to have you. Make yourself at home. You can camp here. You can use the bathrooms. We got porta potties for you. We got food for you. We got a keg that's gonna be open all night long. Within two hours, he totally flip flopped. Apparently, we didn't have enough vehicles here, and uh, didn't draw in enough people for him. So he shut the whole. He shut the whole uh, legion down, locked it all up, shut the gate, kicked us out of the backyard. So I just wanted on record that that happened, because it did happen. Yeah. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of a storm going on out here. But at least we got Camp Fender Bender set up, and I got the coffee going. Don't I look ridiculous with these? With the tan face and the, the sunglass, oh my, I look ridiculous. But uh, yeah, got to uh, check it out. Got the old Coleman fired up there at the uh, water's getting hot. I'm getting ready to add my delicious Folgers Instant Coffee to it. I'll just, might as well just show you. Not going to be doing much else today. Up, 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 pow. Stir that in there like it is. Mmm, yummy. Now, sometimes this is a little hot, so I like to just grab it real quick and move it off of the heat. And then I'll turn this back closed, and before it goes out, turn it open just a little bit, a little tiny bit. You understand me? So we had it open, like we had it open, okay? We had it turned up. Let's get in here closer. Turn it all the way off. The flame won't go out right away because there's still vapor in there. So then you just turn it back on, just maybe a quarter turn. That is my uh, power saver mode, so to speak. I just let it run then until I'm ready for another cup of coffee. And we'll just add a little bit of crema. Just like that. And it just tastes like I just went to Dunkin' Donuts and got a cup of coffee. Look at that. <laughs> and here, I got this here for breakfast. Breakfast hash. It's probably supposed to feed like eight people, but I'm going to eat it. And I got my tube sitting there with the patch. I got the hole marked. Yep, I was gonna do uh, I was gonna do laundry and dishes and all that, but I ain't doing her today. I might actually have to go to a laundry mat today, which is a pity. I'm running out of clean undies. No bueno. Hey folks, welcome back to Camp Fender Bender. So I've been running around doing some odds and ends. I, if you guys saw, I have that uh, checklist on the inside of the windshield of stuff I wanted to do on my rest day. 
we're getting it done, getting cleaned up here, getting all my, uh, I'm retting up my room as we say in Pennsylvania, getting everything uh, put away, squared away, organized, all that stuff, doing some work on the Jeep. And uh, my friend Kevin came over and kind of gave me the straight dope about what happened yesterday. So before I get all angry face, mad face, huffing around, the MVPA leadership spoke to the former Legion commander and uh, the new Legion commander wasn't hip with what happens like on a rest day about how, um, go away fly, how uh, we come in, we set up for a minute or two or an hour and then we're all released to go about our business. So this commander here was under the impression that we all stayed here, we all camped here, and so he bought food for 60, 65, 70 people. So, uh, they made up, and uh, so I feel bad that they bought all that food and uh, everyone wasn't on the same page, which you'll find, I guess, not everyone's on the same page about anything, really. So, that being said, I'm gonna go in and buy some food. I wasn't going to at first. You know, I was kind of upset to the last night and this morning. Felt like we weren't really welcome here, but you know, now that I have more of the picture, I'm uh, I'm gonna go in and buy some food. Okay. After that, I'm gonna finish up here at the camp. Then I'm gonna go out and get a couple things and upload these darn videos. Try to get caught up on everything. So, uh, word of advice for you folks out west: if if we haven't gotten to you yet. Please, no more sloppy joes, no more ham sandwiches, no more donuts. Okay, we've had enough. But uh, if that's all you have, then of course we'd be welcome to have it. But uh, yeah. Well, I got some good news and some bad news, folks. We'll start with the bad news. Uh, I did some research on the Union Pacific Steam Shop in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Um, we're going to be in Laramie on the 31st of August and I had planned to shoot out to the uh, UP Steam Shop and take a look at their equipment there and um, got off the phone with Cheyenne and they said that the big boys in the shop under repairs and uh, they're not giving any tours or anything like that they have a tour scheduled on the 30th which is a day before a rest day and uh, it's booked so that's a negative on that little side excursion I really looked forward to sharing the big boy and some steam trains with you the 844 and uh, probably the challengers in the shop there too I wanted to see all three of those engines and it's just not gonna happen so that's the way she goes I guess I don't know what to say the good news is now that that's out of the way I got most of my list done I'm gonna go out and upload these videos so that's some good news uh, so we're current. I'm going to finish up the rest of my list here tonight. We're going to head out tomorrow. I'll just tell you tomorrow where we're going. You know, <laughs> every day I ask myself, where are we? Where, where were we yesterday? You know, it's very strange because we go through these towns and we end up somewhere I've never been before. I don't even know what the town's called until I have to look, look at the map. And uh, trying to find Walmarts and trying to find stores that are open after five in uh, small town America's pretty rough. Wi-Fi is almost non-existent unless you're in a large enough community that has like a Walmart or a McDonald's or something like that. So that's where I'm headed now to McDonald's. So we're driving back from McDonald's. So as you might be able to see by zoom out there, look at that beautiful sunset. That's right. It's taken me all day to upload three videos. One was over an hour and one was 50 minutes. The other one was a half an hour. So uh, I threw in the towel and we'll, we'll try to do it as I have the time. I, uh, my new SOP is going to be if there's a McDonald's within driving distance of our overnight position, I'm going to go out and try to at least upload one to try to get caught back up. I want to be as current as possible for you guys. So have a blessed night. Guess we'll see you when we see ya. Nebraska, we're coming at you, baby. Next rest.
Laramie, Wyoming.